This is Nine News Now. Now, blurred vision, floaters, trouble seeing at night. These can be some of the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy, the leading cause of blindness in adults ages 20 to 74. But often there are no real symptoms until the bleeding starts. Joining me now is Dr. Reshma Katira from the Retina Group of Washington. This condition is caused by diabetes, but what actually happens inside the eye, doctor? Oh, well, thank you, Anita, for inviting me, first of all. Of course. Um, inside the eye, in the back of the eye called the retina, which is the nerve tissue for sight, the capillaries that supply the tissue actually will start to burst open and bleed and leak, blurring the vision. Oh, wow. I think so we then, have, yeah, we have some pictures. First of all, let's start with what you see when you look in the back of the eye. Here, we can take a look this at this. Is, what's going on what's there? What's wonderful about the eye is without actually cutting open the body, we can just dilate the eye non-invasively. We can look inside and see the blood flow to the retina. And here you can see some of the uh, small little hemorrhages and evidence of leakage, which are those little yellow spots which indicate a cholesterol leaking out of the system. All right, so let's turn this around. What does the person see when that is going on inside their eye? Very commonly, they'll have blurred vision, distortion, they'll have blind spots blocking their vision, mm -hmm. sometimes just floaters. Floaters, so that can be something that's actually kind of serious. Yeah, it can be. Most floaters are normal. A lot of people have floaters, but a new floaters always need to be checked out because it could indicate bleeding, sometimes even something else like a retinal tear. Are you sometimes the one to tell a person, listen, I think you have diabetes? Unfortunately, this has happened. You know, diabetes tends to affect the eyes, the kidneys, and the feet, and the eyes being so delicate, sometimes it's the first organ to show the symptoms. Okay, that is scary stuff. And this can be with type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Anybody with diabetes is at risk for having problems with the eyes. Now, once we've had this kind of bleeding happen, is the vision gone for good? Can it be re reversed? Fortunately, we have lots of exciting therapy right now which can really help rehabilitate vision. But in the end, the bottom line is prevention is important because people always do better with prevention. So it's knowing about your diabetes if you yeah. have it. What about high blood pressure? Is that an issue? High blood pressure and diabetes unfortunately work hand in hand and can cause an enhanced damage in the eyes as well. So if someone at home is watching, clearly eye exams are a key part of all of this. Yes. But are there any symptoms that they should say, hey, wait a minute, I really should, should go get my eyes checked now. Well, certainly anytime anybody has new floaters, blurred vision, difficulty with reading, or things they even think things may be different, they should get checked. But usually the American Academy of Ophthalmology recommends anybody over the age of 50 should get yearly eye exams. But even in younger people, this really can cause blindness. If it goes too far, yeah. it can make people blind? We are seeing more and more young people with diabetes nowadays. I don't know why. but. Um, and so it's important that if anybody has symptoms, they do need to be get checked, even if they're not 50. And does your group actually help people in the D.C. area that can't get this kind of care on their own? Actually, at the Retina Group of Washington, we're very proud of the fact that we have dedicated lots of man hours in conjunction with Washington Hospital Center, MedStar. And they have a clinic there which uh, patients can get care if, even if they can't afford it. So they can come see you if they're worried about mm -hmm. this. Of course. All right, doctor, thanks for joining us. Back right, to you, you guys.